G'day, I'm Brendan Wing, and this is You Fish TV Extra. This is Matt Syker Island. Matt Syker Island is one nasty piece of work, yet very beautiful piece of work. It is one of the most windswept, gnarly places in Australia, if not the world. We're talking about a place where it regularly hits 50 to 80 knots of wind and has been recorded up to 100 knots of wind over the years it's so windy and so gnarly and so remote that the only people that go there are the lighthouse keepers that go on six month shifts in fact the very first lighthouse keepers actually took chickens with them and according to wikipedia all the chickens blew into the ocean never to be seen again so this is a pretty amazing place not only is it windy and is it wet but let me show you something else Let's show you where it is in the world. There it is, right below Tasmania. It doesn't get any more south than that in Australia. Have a look where Australia is. That's about as south as you can get in Australia. And next stop, well, Antarctica. In this area here, that is pretty much the roughest water on Earth. Subpolar storms run through here daily. And this stretch of water here, is the longest fetch of water on the earth where ocean swells can build and they roll in in this direction like this until they hit Matsyker Island. And when they do, and that west coast of Tassie there, when they do, they're often 20 metre seas. That's right, 20 metre seas. So this place down here, little tiny island down the bottom here, that's not for the faint-hearted. Matsyker Island is rarely visited by human beings, especially fishermen. And the other reason, not it's not that far off land, but the nearest boat ramp, okay, so let's look at it again. There it is. So that's Matt Syker. We'll just put a little ruler on here. 67 kilometres at a place called Catamaran. That's the boat ramp there. So basically, come out there, you've got to run out into the ocean, you've got to run all the way around here, 67 kilometres around the ocean, all the way down to this island group. Now, just south of this island group, there's another island called the Mewstone. The Mewstone is even more rugged. It is like a steep pyramid, like Ball's Pyramid almost of the Southern Ocean and just deep water all around and the legend has it covered in fish. So, now you know where we're going this in tonight's show. Let's show you who's taking us there. His name is Jonah Yick and Jonah is a good friend of ours and done a lot of work with Ufish TV over the years. Catches a lot of magnificent fish down in Tassie. He's also a fisheries officer, working for the government, and does a lot of scientific research-related projects, including things like carp eradication from the freshwater systems, and they've been very successful with that. Also, salmon stocking programs. Let's just show you a quick look around his profile. I think often the best way to show you someone's uh, fishing credentials is to have a look at their photos. Let's have a look. Oh, well, there you go. Straight away, you're going to see tuna because obviously Tassie is famous for its tuna, amongst other things. And Jonah's obviously very proficient. He has a very little boat. And there's his missus, Helen. She's also an angler. And that's Jonah on the left. Let's have a look around. So obviously he does a lot of deep water fishing. These are obviously deep water species. These sort of fish like these come from four and five hundred metres of water out off their continental shelf. Oh, there we go, look at this. Jeremy Wade from River Monsters. And there he is, good old Jonesy, having a beer with Jeremy. Now, I know that they did, a, they did a River Monsters together, so we'll know more about that soon. So they've been fishing together. He's also come and fished with us in Victoria and done You Fish TV on the snapper with us, and Dave's caught gone down there and caught a lot of barrels with him. Let's see if we can find... Uh, some more, there we go, look at this, massive swordfish. 
There he is, Ufish TV cap on, Tasman Island in the background. So Jonah is a very accomplished fisherman. So let's not uh, let's not embarrass him too much more. He's quite a humble person too, but look at some of the fish he does in that tiny little boat of his. So he's actually the one that's going to be taking us down to Matt Syker Island, the wildest, roughest place in the world where we've got 20 metre seas and big winds because he has got a weather window. And I'm not joking, just a day after this video we're about to watch that Jonah's sent in, it did hit 80 to 86 knots at Matt Syker in monstrous, terrifying conditions. Luckily, he had a good day and got out of there. But let's just see the day that happened for him, and we're going to watch it together and uh, see what he saw and see what he experienced. Obviously, that's the uh, mainland of Tassie. Looking forward towards the Matsuka group there, so he's obviously well on the way here. And obviously they've arrived. Oh. Yeah. It's a pretty extreme place. And look at that weather. Considering how bad it can be, and was just shortly after this video, that's pretty nice. Good call. Good call, Joni. You did it well. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the Mewstone. The Mewstone's about another, is the most southern rock in the group. It's just deep water all around. And straight up, what have we got here? Birds. Birds on bait. Birds on a bait ball. I saw seals. This, this takes me back. This is like watching Jim Allen from a complete angler at Eagle Hawk Neck 20, 30 years ago. Shit that inspired me to fish for bluefin. Images no one's seen before. That's the mew stone. That's seal ball. They're towing the lure over that ball, turning the boat, turning the lure over the over the seal ball. The rod, the rod bed. Yes. That's a good fish, man. Yeah, get on that. That's a good one. <laughs> the seals are on us again. Fuck, the whole pack of them are on us again. Come up a bit. Yeah, I know. We'll see if we'll see if he grabs it this time. Eh? Yeah, no, it's strange. Mm. Very strange. <laughs> I'm just too scared. All right, I'm just going to stop the video here for a second. Okay. In Tasmania, when seals, when you hook a tuna and the seals are around, you're in trouble. A single seal, a single 300 kilo bull seal down at Eagle Hook Neck or the southern end of Tassie, is quite capable of taking a 150 kilo or 300 pound bluefin tuna straight off you and you don't see it again. Swim over, snatch it and take it. We have a problem here. They're finally hooked up and they've got a pack of big seals looking at this tuna. Let's see what happens. This is not, this is not looking good. Yeah, they might have it. We'll see. I haven't touched it yet though. It's a weird thing. They haven't, literally haven't touched it. Oh, they got it. They got it now. It's a lot. Have they grabbed it or not? Yeah, oh, I still that. Oh, We're going to gaff it. We're taking it, yeah? Oh, shit, you're right. Yeah, hang on. Have they grabbed it? No. Yeah, not that bad. It's not big. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, what? 40? Yeah. Yeah, what? 40? Yeah. Are we going to release or try and... We can try and release it. I'll try and gaff it in the mouth. Mm -hmm. Hang on, yeah. I just can't tell if they've... I think they're not. I don't think they're cutting really slow on it. Yeah. They keep going. Wind right up to the swivel. Yeah, not too bad. The fish doesn't look too healthy though. No, it doesn't. Better taste on him. We can try and swim. I think he's gulped it. The seals have not touched the tuna. Have a look at the size of the tuna. 
Oh my god. The seals, look at them. They're just looking at it. They don't know what to do. Look at them. They're just going, what's going on here? What's yeah, this giant yeah. piece of fish just swimming around? He's to look. Yeah, looks buggered. He's gulped. You know what this says, right? Not this says not they not have not never not seen not boats or fishermen or even seen this happen before. They don't know what to do. That just goes not to show how remote still. this place yeah. is. When you've got giant seals just looking at a tuna like that and just thinking, what do we do? They haven't learnt the behaviour to take the tuna. Here it comes. Man, a seal. That's a 50, I think. A 50? Oh, Jesus. Oh, man, that's a big Jonah. one. Jonah. 50. Yeah, that's a good fish. Man, look at the size of that. <laughs> yeah, that's fat ass. I think he's gulped it and it's choked him. I know for a fact that it actually weighed closer to 70 oh, when you weighed it. With this, then. Should we go to the other side? That's a good start. That's a good start. That's bad as. Oh, God. That's amazing. So here we go and again. It's calmed out even more. That's the Mewstone. Look at it. Mental. All right, so he's got the ice. He's got it packed with ice. He's got water on it. Break some more ice up. Oh, we're on. So it looks like Jonah's on the rod. How exciting is this? We wouldn't normally get to see this. This wouldn't end up anywhere, this footage. And here it is, given to us to share it with you all. What an adventure. Just two blokes in a boat. Yeah, just go right hand down a bit. You. Oh, God. Crazy scenes, Jonah. Okay, so what's happening here is that they're, they're trying to put tags in them and release them, so he's trying to gently lift them in the boat, but the tuna's not playing. Wow, so you get the idea. This is the Mewstone at the Matt Cycle Group on the calmest day of the year. They've gone down there one day, yeah. one shot, bang. I know for a fact they got something like 10 tuna. The range between something like uh, 10 kilos was the smaller, so it like a jelly bean, a football, up to 80 kilos. The one we just saw then was nearly 70, and they were calling it, and I know this is hilarious, they call that big tuna 35 kilos in one moment, at one moment there. Jonah. Like I said, that this reminds me of the inspirational stuff, right, that I saw like 20, 30 years ago when Jim Allen recorded catching 80, 90 kilo bluefin, 60, 80, 90 kilo bluefin, bluefin down at Eagle Hook Neck in Tasmania. Many years later, that went on to be called the capital of game fishing in Australia because it opened it up, and it was just amazing. This, to me, is equal to that. This is pioneering tuna fishing in Tasmania in 2019. They've gone down there in a trailer boat, 60 k's odd to the Matt Cycle Island group because we've got the technology to have good weather uh, forecasts. We have the boats and the radios and the safety equipment sorted. They can get down there and do this. And they've got to run out of that little, little place called Catamaran. So that is absolutely inspirational, mate. Um, awesome little bit of footage you share with us. I'm hoping I'm doing justice telling the story for you, but I just needed to give a bit more weight to the story, not just guys catching some fish. There's a lot going on here. This is incredible, and that's what we want. We want people who are beating their own path and who are pioneers in fishing, sharing what they got with us, because we can share that with the world. And it just goes to show you don't have to follow reports, you can make your own reports. It's fucking bloody exciting, I tell you. And this gives me a buzz to know that Jonah's a mate of mine and he's actually out there doing this stuff. It's unbelievable, mate. Well done. And you and Robert Keeley setting Tassie on fire. And I tell you what else, we've got a lot more footage coming from Jonah of much, much bigger fish from those rocks south of Tassie. Over the next few weeks, we're hopefully going to share a lot, lot more special things than this. This is just a, a sampler 
from the Matt Psyker group, from Jonah. Anyway, that's all we've got time for. I've really got to fly. It's actually Monday afternoon. I've literally walked in the door from work. I've just gone bang, 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 just read that with you, watched that with you, read it, read into what I could. And I've recorded it all, got everything going. This is the new studio starting to take shape. Um, if you haven't caught up with what's happening on the Ufish TV channel at the moment at YouTube, it's exploding. It's blowing up. God, we feel so lucky. Unbelievable. Thank you. Just the amount of people that get beyond, be, behind what we do and watch what we do and take an interest in what we do, it's extraordinarily flattering. Um, Dave and I and Adrian just blown away. So if you haven't checked out uh, last week's video, it's the Marlin video um, from Eden. That has exploded. I think in the last 24 hours it's had like 100,000 views on YouTube. So check that mental video out. Also, I'm going to say this for the very first time I think I can ever remember on our channel. If you love what we do, support what we do, Tell your friend, subscribe, get on board, like it, comment, get involved for us so we can keep on doing this. So the more people that support us, the bigger it grows, the more potential we have to do this. And over the next few days, we're going to drop quite a few bombs. There's quite a few good videos coming up we're going to show you. And the videos are starting to flow in. It's quite amazing how many stories we've got to tell. Anyway, got to fly. That's it. Um, hopefully we've got, I've got like four hours to get this up and running onto, onto YouTube tonight. Cheers. Newfish TV is proudly brought to you by fighttackle.com.au, Gamakatsu Hooks by Frogleys Offshore, Mercury Marine Australia, and Immersion Apparel.